Ooh, welcome back, everybody. Uh, oh, actually, I wanted to make sure that we have Priestess as Unicorn. Yeah, we're good. We're good. All right, now to hang out with Fuka. Really neglecting our bros here. Kaz, Bebe, Kenji. We'll get around to them, but we gotta handle, uh, I guess, mainly Chihiro and Fuka for now. Yep, that's why we're here. Spend time. Where should we go? Iwatoda Strip Mall. You left school with Fuka. You talked to her about your favorite foods. Remember when I told you that I needed to get better at cooking? Well, I've been cooking a lot since then. And that's why I wanted to know what your favorite food is, so I could make it for you, but everything I make still tastes terrible. I believe in you. Thank you. No one's ever said anything like that to me. Luca smiled bashfully. I'm not really a positive thinker. I always picture the worst happening. So I'm really thankful to be a member of C's. Everyone's been so encouraging. Especially you, Makoto-kun. That's why I want to show you my gratitude. It seems that Fuka trusts you. Your relationship with her has grown. Fantastic. Yeah, I think the game like prioritizes maximizing all the uh, the female social links because uh, of the jealousy mechanic in this game, whereas none of the male social links have that. I think they just have like if you don't hang out with them for like uh, I want to say 60 days, it it'll reverse, but I don't really know. Relationship is growing, but you're still just friends. I'm pretty sure that we're um, more than friends with Chihiro. So each time that we hang out with Fuka without hanging out with her, like the jealousy mechanic is certainly kicking in because we're rank eight with her right now. So I'm pretty sure we're more than friends with her at this point. Maybe I should watch one of those cooking shows on TV. Then again, they're probably too advanced for me. Hmm, maybe I should just get a cookbook. But there probably aren't any in the library. Uh, I guess either choice doesn't matter. Help you find some. No, that's okay. Thank you. But I have to find them myself. Which reminds me, I haven't been to the bookstore in a long time. It's not a big deal, though. It's literally right, right over there. Fuka smiled wryly. He walked around the strip mall with Fuka for a while before returning to the dorm. Okay, because it's Friday, we can Where hang out with been? Mikatsu. I'm gonna go out for a bit. See you later. Oh yeah, I hope that this coming Monday everybody's gonna be around. That's one of the few indulgences the chairman has. Please, just ignore him. By the way, I've been meaning to talk to you about my persona. It is resistant to ice attack and all his ice schools, but I'm going to freeze them. Oh, she's just saying the same shit she said before. The mood around here has been so serious lately, I thought I would lighten things up. So, today I will be performing my top 10 jokes for everyone. Where are they? Dude, what did he come here for? How can I help you? Talk to me, man. I know that Akutsuki-san just wants to entertain us, but his jokes are really silly. What should I do, Makoto-kun? Keep that expression. Uh... <laughs> Be true to yourself. Okay. Then I'll just say I'm sorry, but I don't find your jokes funny. Yeah, just be direct. 
Everyone slows down as they get older, but some people are getting fed up with it. We spoke to yo to local youth, yokel, who have a message for irresponsible adults. Before you tell me to stop talking on the phone, maybe you could stop stealing people's seats, you know? God, you guys totally have no right to get on our case like that. Next, more vacation news. Well, I understand how he feels, but it's just so lame. We didn't actually hear any of the jokes. Oh, I realized that Junpei told us to check out the... Um, the electronic system on the fourth floor um, a while ago. Almost forgot about that. Let's go check that out. Check it out. <laughs> this way, officer. By the time I realized the door was halfway open, his room was already in this state. I've left the place untouched as you requested. Hmm. Whose room is this? Junpei Iori, a junior. I've been attempting to reach him on his cell phone, but he hasn't responded in the last 30 minutes. It was careless of me to let my guard down. This dorm has been attacked in the past. Security is everyone's concern, but if anything happens to him, it's ultimately my responsibility. I hate to say it, Miss Kirijo, but this is most likely... Huh? Mitsuru-senpai? What the hell? Kurosawa-san? What's going on here? I love how every time Junpei gets surprised, he, like, jumps backward and his hat pops off of his fucking head. Iori? Where were you? I've been trying to contact you. Huh? Oh, uh, it was hot and the AC was busted, so I went to the manga cafe and fell asleep. <sighs> well, I'm just glad you're safe. But if it wasn't an attack, then it must have been theft. Why would the burglar target this room? Theft? What else could it be? Someone clearly tore through the room looking for something. Vandalizing a school dorm. When I find out who did this, I'll see to it that he or she is executed. He's talking real wild crazy in front of this cop. Well, son, sounds like you've got a death sentence. How about it, Iori? Was this room in fact vandalized? Uh, well... My room always looks like this. W what? B but You can't possibly live here in this state, can you? And the door was open. Oh, right. I wanted to air the place out while I was gone. No one we don't know ever comes around, so... I think this case is closed. May I return to my duties, Miss Kiri Jo? Oh, uh, yes. I'm sorry you had to see something so disgraceful. I apologize for all this. 
It seems my upbringing may have been more sheltered than I realized. Come on, at least yell at me or something. What's the deal with you calling the police over a messy room anyway? What did I do to deserve this? Hey, wait. That fortune I drew on the way back, it was... Worst luck. I mean, that kind of explains a lot there. <clears throat> I just noticed that in uh, Mitsuru's portrait, her hair is like burgundy, but her character model is more like purplish. Well, now that we saw Iori get embarrassed, it's time to hang out with our monk friend. One thing I guess I haven't talked about, um, since my last, like, big recording session, uh, I think I may have mentioned this. I completed Final Fantasy VIII, which was great, um, but I started playing Final Fantasy IX, and wow, that game is a hard son of a bitch. I, f I feel like I'm just either under-leveled, because, like, regular enemies are like two or three shotting me and I feel like that should not be the case I feel like I'm definitely doing something improper in that game but um, yeah like one of the first bosses in that game the Gizamaluk or however the fuck you say it that was really difficult because I did not have the correct equipment for that fight but that's another story seems to be fun but just oddly very difficult like seven and eight were not as hard as uh, nine is presenting itself to be I thought your face looked familiar you here again kid even boot is not that forgiving all right that's it I'm gonna hand you over to the bouncer and well, there's no Buddha in this world, so... Alright, kid. Stop looking at me like that and sit down. So tell me, is it fun pestering an old monk like me whose own wife and kid left him? How come you're always alone when I see it? Don't you got any friends, kid? I don't have any friends. It's a fucking lie. <laughs> this game, like in Social Links, you're just telling them what they want to hear. Which is funny because I think in Persona 4 there's a character that just basically tells you to do that. Specifically with the female social links, which is just so weird. Like instead of... Well, I guess it's real life because, you know, sometimes the things that you actually say will not be totally agreeable with other people. So sometimes you just gotta say shit to appease them, but damn. We're just straight up lying here. Either you like being alone or you got problems. In any case, well said. No hesitations whatsoever. <laughs> I'm glad to amuse you with my lack of friendship. Don't worry if you don't have any friends. Most of life's troubles have to do with others. Let's define a friend as someone you hold dear. True friendship is seen through the heart, kid, not the eyes. People always want something in a relationship. They only really love themselves. You don't call someone who doesn't like you your friend, do you? No, you don't. Oh, I... <laughs> I said that weird, but whatever. Because you know you won't get nothing from them, right? Which means in this world, there's no one you can hold dear. At the end of the lonely road of love, kid, you're the only one left standing there. 
But you see those dames over there, the ones on the dance floor? If you can bring one of them over here, I'll be your friend in return. Eh? What do you think? I'm glad that we're gaining his trust. Even though he's giving us a very bleak outlook on life. Too tired to go talk to him, eh? Heh, you look like you're gonna doze off any second now. Go home for now, kid. You're gonna come back again anyway, even if I tell you not to, right? have uh, a bit of leveling up to do before we can um, get our first tower persona which is a little annoying that they locked it behind such a high level we need to be at least level 31 so we're probably not going to be that level until like the middle of the next level of Tartarus whatever hey did you hear about all those people who were found unconscious recently I guess they were all in pairs. What, like they were attempting a double suicide? I don't know, but if I could pass out with someone I liked, I wouldn't mind being unconscious. I would mind. These people have a weird outlook on life. Okay, nothing to do today other than just hang out with Chihiro again. You know, we haven't talked to Yukari in a bit. What's up? Still not clear to me. My head hurts from thinking about it. Nah, you didn't really have to say much. Oh, Makoto-san, are you on your way home? Um, would you like some company? Oh, sugary. Thanks so much. It's lonely by myself. Well, that's why we're hanging out with you, to curtail the loneliness. You feel a bit uncomfortable. There is an announcement. Attention, please. Sophomore Chihiro Fushimi and Junior Makoto Yuki. Now, I was actually thinking earlier, in Japanese high schools, I think they only have three years. So really, it should be freshman whatever, whether it's sophomore, junior, and then senior. So it's weird that they would call her a sophomore, because I don't think there's a grade lower than her, hers in this school, unless I'm missing something. They may have still been working out the translation stuff with this game. Uh, the student council president would like to speak with you. Please go to the student council room immediately. I repeat again. The president wants to speak with me? Don't tell me the president thinks I stole the money too. Uh, don't worry, she'll help us. Right, she will, won't she? If I talk to her, at least I won't have to trouble you anymore, Makoto-san. You decide to go to the student council room with your hero.
Good, you two are here. I apologize for the sudden announcement. The reason I called you here is... You think I stole the money? Chihiro. I'd like to hear the whole story directly from you. Uh, um, I, I... Makoto-san. You made eye contact with Chihiro. Now this is actually the correct answer. Thank you, Makoto-san. I can do this myself. Go for it. I, I, I. Chihiro's lip is trembling. It's okay, Chihiro. It's not necessarily someone who's good at counting money who makes the best treasurer. I prefer someone who will work diligently without complaining. From what I've seen in student council, Chihiro, it's obvious that you didn't take the money. Thank you, Miss President. I was just testing you. In a situation like this, I'm afraid you have to prove your innocence. Do you think you can do that? It It's difficult to say this, and I'll probably regret it, but I don't think I can do it. Never be embarrassed of who you are. Allow me to take care of it. It's my responsibility as student council president. Give me a hand, will you, Yuki? Uh, this one does not matter. You just go along with it. I'd like to know more about Chihiro, and I've seen you two together after school. I want to prove to those who suspect her that even outside of school she behaves respectably. Yuki, I'll leave tonight open. Come to my room when you're free. Try not to be seen by anyone. Please, wait! That means... You two will be meeting alone? I don't want to make things worse. Even in the dorm, there are students who spread rumors. I mean, I guess it's just Junpei, right? <laughs> no, that's unacceptable. I won't let you do it. Chihiro? Get away from him! There's no way I'll agree to that. If I can clear my name, it won't be necessary, right? I'm going to talk to the teacher. Well, she, jealousy is what made her get some fucking cojones. <laughs> Chihiro. I clearly remember what happened that day. You had a bandage on your chin because you cut yourself while shaving. I handed the fee money to you directly. Do you expect me to just pretend that never happened? Calm down, Fushimi. Please explain, or else... Sorry, it's all my fault. Or else someone important to me will... Huh? Um... That day, I had to stay late, and I missed my train. I didn't have any money on me, so I used what you collected to pay for a taxi. What? I fully intended to return the money, but then I forgot. I must be getting old, huh? <laughs> it's not funny! Don't worry, I'll explain to the class what happened and return the money. So, please forgive me, Chihiro. I assumed it was just a misunderstanding, but... This is inexcusable. You call yourself a teacher? Misappropriation of public funds is a serious crime. I will report this immediately. Please don't. It's okay, Mitsuru-san. If that's the case, then I'll... Let's go, Makoto-san. Alright, now we're on the rooftop. Makoto-san, over here. Can you believe I went to the faculty office and said all that? I even surprised myself. Hee <laughs> hee. Ha 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 ha. Uh... 
Yeah, I guess what's wrong? This dude didn't hit another home run, did he? No way. Oh yeah, okay, that was just a replay, jeez. Uh, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. Oh. I'm glad you're having fun. Remember what I said to Mitsuru-san? Get away from him! Hehe. <laughs> I was worried what might happen if you and Mitsuru-san were alone together. I was... <coughs> I was so flustered I almost passed out. I'm pretty weird, huh? I've been like that ever since I was a kid, or so my mother says. Normally, I'm quiet and timid, but when it comes to something I care about, then I become aggressive. 1G aggressive. <laughs> I've been talking to my mother about you, Makoto-san, and she wants to meet you. Would you like to come over to my house one day? You know, when you're not busy. Okay. I think it's fair to say if it's not now, it's never. <laughs> That she'll become more than friends with us. Oh, I still have to apologize to Mitsuru san. And, um, I think I owe her an explanation. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, I guess we... We must have been more than friends with her by now. Oh, Otherwise, hey. it definitely would have happened just then and there. Do you know about Shinshoudo? Nope. The fuck is that? Please explain. Shinshoudo is located in Polonia Mall and it will be reopening on the 9th of next month. The chairman said you should visit it when you have a chance. Now I remember what it is. Everyone at school is talking about the lost. It seems shadows have started to attack again. If things keep going like this, a shadow will appear during the full moon. Just like Akutsuki san said. Huh? A Christmas star? Oh right, yeah, we need to do this. That's the ornament at the top of the tree, right? What do you want one of those for? And where would I find one? Oh, I think I might know what you're talking about. If I'm right, it might not refer to an ornament at all. There's a type of plant that's sometimes called the Christmas star. I think it's pretty common, too. Could you wait a few minutes? I'll go look it up. Sorry for the wait. I think a poinsettia is what you're looking for. It's usually a Christmas flower, so you won't find it in stores now. Fortunately, I had some in my room. Here you go. And why do you have poinsettias in your room? Also, the, one of the guides that I'm using that says to talk to Fuka for this says she'll give us orangutan wood. <laughs> how did how did that get confused? Maybe it's the OG Persona 3 that has that. I don't know. Say, the chances of the dam drying up are greater than 50%. If the dry weather continues this summer, it could turn into a serious problem. That sounds dire. I heard that couples are becoming the victims of shadows now. I'm not going to say what they were doing when it happened, but... Do you think that means the next shadow is starting to wake up? Could be. There's a bunch of different shadows and they all have different... Oh, dude, how many times have you said that to us already? Oh, um... Oh, actually we have time. I'll save tomorrow. I'm just trying to plan ahead because we probably need to buy some items before we go to Tartarus on Monday. But we'll have time to save in the evening tomorrow and then visit Tartarus Monday in the afternoon before we... Uh, do whatever social link stuff that we gotta do.
Yes, we did complete a request. That red-leafed plant. Is that the Christmas star? Oh? Then where is it? Hmm, I'm somewhat disappointed. I was led to believe there would be presents growing from this plant. This fulfills my request, but you can take it back with you. Although once the presents are in bloom, I'd like for these plants to fill this room. Please accept your reward. I wonder who led her to believe that. Is there anything else? Uh, oh, I guess we gotta register for tuna. Uh, is there anything else that we can or should do? In between now and... Going to Tartarus again. Doesn't seem that way. Yeah, so I think in the next um, trip to Tartarus, we're definitely gonna... Well, we're gonna complete the document uh, quest. Oh, I shouldn't have left. I need to hit the fucking arcade. Um, maybe the fusion spell Jack Brothers. Maybe Oberon. Using him as well. Uh, and I guess go from there. I made the mistake of, of accepting that rare hand quest, which we can't do until we get to the next section of Tartarus. I don't know why they make it available now, if it's impossible. I guess it's a bait and switch kind of a thing. Great, finally an increase. Average to above average. We're, we're just, just above the median right there. No school, time to hang out with Chihiro. Oh, we actually took it to the arcade. This is my first time coming to this kind of place. I didn't know it would be so much fun. I don't think I'll be very good at the racing games, though. I'll be too worried about breaking the speed limit. Oh my god, it's a fucking racing game. Chiro seems a little embarrassed. I'm not good at driving anyway. Are you planning to get a driver's license, Makoto-san? Thinking about it. Really? Um, then maybe we could, um, go for a drive together. Hope you get your license soon. <laughs> How old is he, like, fucking... 16? I guess he could get it soon, but he's not getting a car anytime soon. Alright. The next time we hang out with her, maxed. And we can put her social link to bed. Alright, Sunday, I think. Wow, nobody's here. What the fuck? They're probably upstairs, actually. Next episode, Phoenix Ranger, Feather Man R. Episode 19, Believe in Yourself. There's nothing you can't do, Feather Swan. And now the news. The number of apathy syndrome victims is increasing every day, all over the city. Shame.
What up? Ahem, Junpei the Wise has come up with the ultimate hypothesis. There is no top to Tartarus. Well, he's finally snapped. I guess his brain has reached its expiration date. Actually, that's an interesting idea. But wouldn't that create a big problem for us? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Well, maybe I was wrong. Yeah, hopefully, dude, otherwise there's no end to this. I wonder what's at the top. If this was an adventure novel, there'd probably be some kind of treasure. I know, there's a giant piñata, pinata, and when you break it, candy pours out and a huge banner appears saying congratulations, you've beaten Tartarus. That must be it, Stupé. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a control panel we could smash and destroy the whole place? <laughs> that would be like the illest troll or like hidden ending if you did that and that was the ending, just a pinata that says congratulations with candy. It's like a Silent Hill type thing to do. <laughs> Mitsuru Senpai and Akihiko Senpai are not here today, so we can't go to Tartarus. Okay. This next rank with, uh, or next hangout with Mutatsu is not gonna level us up, it'll just be a spend time event. And I don't think it would have mattered if we had a, uh, yeah, he's still not there, if we had a persona, a tower persona or not. Oh, it's you. Will you spend some time with Mutatsu? Of course I will. That's why I'm here. Alright, so we're gonna rest up. We're hitting Tartarus tomorrow. Make sure we're in great condition. I'm hopeful that all of our uh, teammates are going to be available as well. Oh my god, I forgot to fucking save. Morning, Ohio. You know, in about a week, there'll be another mission. Yeah, I know. I wonder what it'll be like this time. I guess we'll keep fighting until we defeat all eight that are left. But what are we going to do after that? I've been thinking about this for a while. I wonder if Mitsuru Senpai is hiding something from us. Uh, she was a little evasive when we were talking about that one thing in the command room a while ago. Everyone understand the Lawrence Force and the left hand rule, then I'm erasing the board. Oh, I've already erased it now, but it might be on the exam we're having in two weeks. Got it? Good. We're moving on to inertial force. Let's do an experiment. Nah, let's not. We'll work on the problems in the book instead. Open up to page 8. The first problem, that's just an application. We're skipping it. After that, you look sleepy, Junpei. Let's see if you can answer this. When you drain the water in the tub, it swirls down the drain. Which way does the swirl go in the northern hemisphere? What? what? How would I know? Who pays attention to something like that? Hey, Makoto, do you know? Uh, this is the answer. And yeah, if I got this question wrong, and he told me the answer, shouldn't my knowledge go up? Because uh, there's no way I would have known that otherwise, unless I just happened to know. Right, the Coriolis effect doesn't apply on a small scale, like water swirling down the drain. Otherwise, the rule is clockwise in the north, counterclockwise in the south. 
but remember, it has to be on a large scale, like shooting a missile. Next. Dude, that's it? I got the question right. Don't I deserve some credit here? Well, we're about as popular as it can be, so... This is all for show at this point. Oh, hi, Makoto-kun. Thank goodness it's lunchtime, huh? Um, are you free after school today? Yes, we will be hanging out with you, but we just gotta run a quick errand. Hoist. Fucking Mariners just had a three-run home run. God damn. Well, at least we're still up 5-3. I should talk to that fucking guy. He could just teleport me over to Polonia Mall. Please teleport me across the city. First, let's hit the pharmacy. Welcome. Get at least ten of these. Uh, I think we're otherwise okay. I don't really think we need any of this other stuff. Actually, maybe let's get a few of these. Alright, now we're good. I don't want to spend too much money because we probably need it for persona fusing. the foe out of here. Oh, Makoto-kun, are you heading home? Okay, where should we go? Polonia Mall. You went shopping with Fuka. I apologize for taking so long. I had to go to the pharmacy to buy some special spices. I don't know why, though. Even if I use them, I doubt they'll make any difference. I'm sorry you came all the way here. Fuka seems very apologetic. To be honest, my cooking still doesn't taste very good. It's not the way I make it, it's just... No, it is the way you make it. When I'm cooking, I think to myself, this isn't going to taste good. <sighs> I just wish I was good at something. Either one. I'm sure there's something. What? That I'm good at? 
Hmm, let's see. Well, I'm pretty good with mechanical devices. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to boast. I mean, we were literally trying to find out what you're good at. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. My dad used to tinker with audio equipment in his spare time. He would repair speakers and headphones. I used to love watching him work when I was little. That's probably why I'm so good with mechanical devices. But I don't think those skills are enough to repay everyone for what they've done for me. And even if they were, the Carrijo group could always provide us with anything we need for battle. Not to mention that I'm kind of embarrassed about it all. I mean, it's not a very feminine hobby. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, Makoto-kun. Thank you. You always seem to be the one I tell my troubles to, Makoto-kun. And yet, you're always so understanding. You help me to think positively. You're really supportive. We are becoming fast friends with Fuka. Sorry I made you wait so long. Well, um, I'm going to return to the dorm. See you later. Peace out. I don't know why we don't just walk back together. <laughs> Literally going to the same place. Sorry to bother you, Fuka. It's okay. What's on your mind? Well, um, I was hoping you could do me a favor with your skill. I was doing some research on our school, and I came across something strange. Ten years ago, a lot of students missed school for some reason. They were reported as absent, but I found some records that suggest it was something serious. Do you know anything about it, Fuka? Me? Um, not really. I know it was a long time ago, but doesn't it seem suspicious to you? From what I've heard, this isn't the first time shadows have appeared. Wait, are you saying? I don't know, but I wonder. And I'm not trying to make trouble, but... Mitsuru Senpai acts kind of weird whenever someone asks questions about Tartarus. Does she? I just want to know what happened back then. If it doesn't have anything to do with the shadows, then fine. I understand. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Hmm. Yeah, Yukari's getting a little inquisitive here. Where have you been? Alright. Well, we're gonna call it here because we're over time. So, uh, I think we'll save in the middle save slot here. Haven't done that in a while. Yeah. Alright, as always, it's been real and it's been nice. In other words, it's been real nice. I'll see you next time.